let's start with a detailed look at the slightly simpler of the two techniques using external entities. External entities declare callable elements we call bridges. When a call to a bridge is made while Verifier is executing a model, it looks for a package called lib, and within it, a class definition whose name exactly matches the key letters assigned to the external entity. If Verifier finds a suitable class, it loads it. Verifier then looks to see if there is a Java static method matching the signature of the bridge being called. If a match is found, Verifier transfers control to the method. When the method returns, Verifier will convert the return value, if any, back into a form that is understood by the XTUML runtime engine. Execution then proceeds inside Verifier. There is no limit to the number of bridges you can create on an external entity. Verifier will only look for a given realized method when it is actually called. Verifier has its own library of built-in external entities. However, you can add your own lib package and declare realized external entities of your own. You can mix your own EEs with the built-in ones, or you can override the built-in ones if you wish. The procedure required to build your own lib package is described here in the Bridgepoint help. The GPS watch example uses a realized external entity. You can find it at library, UI, graphical user interface. The external entity's keyword is GUI bridge, and you can find the realized Java class definition in the GPS watch project at Java source, lib, GUIbridge.java. Recall that the class name must match the keywords of the modeled EE. The set data bridge maps onto the realized Java like this. The graphical user interface external entity defines the following bridges connect, set data, Set time, feed lap reset pressed event, feed light pressed event, feed mode pressed event, feed set target pressed event, feed start stop pressed event. Let's leave the bridges whose names begin with feed for later. The watch GUI window listens on a socket to implement communication with the running verifier model. This approach would not be the method of choice for a real watch implementation. However, it is a convenient approach that allows both verifier and model compiler implementations of the GPS watch to run exactly the same way. A closer to the hardware implementation can easily be inserted later by dropping in a new realized UI component. The other component's implementation and behavior would be unaffected by this change. The connect bridge call opens the socket ready for communication with the watch GUI. Once connected, calls to the set time bridge update the large digit display in the watch GUI window. And calls to set data update the small upper display line. 